Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I said in the last video we've actually had two successful runs in a row, that was a lie, and the best kind of lie. We've actually had three successful runs in a row with Maggie, Kane, and Judas respectively. So when choosing a character here, I think we gotta go with Isaac, because he's the only character we have not yet beaten the game with. So yes, last run uh, was quite successful, defeated Mom's Heart, largely due to the fact that I had one of the best offensive setups I've ever seen. I had ra er, uh, piercing shots that additionally, oh there's a tinted rock in here, but I'll wait to blow that up until I know what I want to do with this bomb. Oh, this is a tricky room right off the bat. Uh, yes, I had uh, shots that were piercing, that also slowed, and I also combined that with the Book of Belial, which is Judas's um, spacebar item by default, which causes it much increased damage. Uh, pretty much tore through all of the bosses, and I didn't have much of a problem with any of the standalone rooms either. You know what? Let's try to make it... We'll, we'll try to hit for a cycle today. We'll record four videos, each one of them successful, and each one of them with a different character. That should be a fucking achievement unlocked the highest magnitude. So here's our item room. Magnet, not a bad item to get right at the very beginning. Uh, and this is gonna set the tone, essentially. For the rest of the for the rest of this video, what what kind of item drops I get? I'm definitely gonna go back and use my bomb on that tinted rock. Hey, sloth! He's probably trying to enact some revenge for the huge defeat I uh, met it out to him last time, as a result of my ability to slow him and essentially freeze him in his tracks. Not to mention those silkworms. I gotta remember that those are actually gonna be oh a little bit challenging for me to fight now because I can't just freeze them. Uh, I actually took some damage here, but assume I'm sure that someone is going to drop a heart, uh, if not sloth, definitely another enemy. Or maybe I'll get one from that tinted rock. All right, so there's a tarot card. We'll just kill these silkworms. Again, fighting sloth so early is kind of a pain in the ass because you get these silkworms right away, and normally you don't fight them until you go to the caves. So we got a key. Tarot card is the hermit. I've honestly forgotten what the hermit does. Oh, takes you to the secret room. Or sorry, takes me to the shop. Uh, it's kind of a shame, since I don't want to buy anything in here yet. Uh, because there's, uh, Sister Maggie right there, and that would be a really good item to have. But, let's blow up this right here. We get a chest, worth unlocking, hopefully. Five cents and half a heart. Not so bad. Let's do a little bit more exploring in here. This is a pretty easy room. Uh, I guess we will try to find the secret room as well, just in case it actually has, like, two dimes or a nickel in it. Or two dimes or nickels. Sorry, two nickels or a quarter in it is what I meant to say, actually. Uh, and if it does, then maybe we'll be able to buy Sister Magic. So this is the room I want to point out for everyone in the comments who says secret rooms are only surrounded by three other rooms. Here, this one's surrounded by four. And with only six cents, don't believe we have enough to really buy anything useful. Oh, although well, we got another cent from that. So we'll just go fight the boss. And you know, with 12 cents right now, that's actually not so bad. I'll be able to probably buy an item on the next level. Or maybe I'll get some money from the boss and I'll be able to buy Sister Maggie. Because I would, I would hate to have Sister Maggie just disappear, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. So we're fighting Monstro, and we're fighting a champion version of Monstro, which just means it's a little bit stronger. <clears throat> uh, this one seems bigger. The other champion monsters I fought have been smaller and faster. Uh, this one is maybe bigger, so it's a little bit harder to avoid the, uh, the jumps that he does, I suppose. But he should still be pretty easy. Uh, I'm finding Isaac's damage to be so weak right now compared to what I was doing with Kane, or sorry, with uh, oh, with Judas particularly as we got towards the end of that video. But hopefully I'll get some good damage ups, or good uh, good items, good tears ups I should say, and I'll be able to uh, yeah, defeat him a little bit faster than this, or defeat bosses in the future a little bit faster than this. So people are telling me to be on the lookout for some items. Apparently. Every time you beat the game, it'll be like, a noose is unlocked, or a nail is unlocked, or a fetus is unlocked. Uh, these are items that you can get both through just playing the... Oh, I almost went down by accident. Went down without getting this item. What is this? Uh, tears up, or damage up. Good. Whoa. That's looking pretty badass. Uh, those items you can get, like the nail or the fetus, uh, by trading with the devil. I'm not sure if you can find them just normally. But they apparently are fantastic. What, what the fetus item does, although I've not seen it. Some of, one of my friends was telling me about it on Steam. Uh, what, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. what that does is uh, causes you to shoot tears instead of bombs. I mean, bombs instead of tears, obviously. Uh, and, oh, no Book of Belial in here again. I mentioned in an earlier video someone was looking for that. So obviously I would like to get the fetus upgrade. Uh, because the ability to shoot bombs would be fantastic. Even though I probably would end up killing myself by accident. Almost assuredly, really. 
So, it seems like I'm doing a little bit more damage. Oh, I could use a bomb to get to that, but I'm not sure I want to do that yet. Wait. Check out this room, and there's the boss already. Shall we fight the boss? Let's go fight the boss already, why not? Larry Jr., big fucking deal. Fought him like a hundred times over the course of this Let's Play so far. I think I might have fought Larry Jr. every single time. I, I, you know, I don't have enough time on my hands to go and look back and see if that is indeed true, but I feel like I always fight at least one version of Larry Jr. Whether it's, uh, whether it's in the basement, as it is usually uh, in the basement, or whether, oh, whether, you know, sometimes I do end up fighting, ah! Uh, <laughs> That was, that was remarkably scary, su surprisingly scary. Uh, whether I just fight a champion version of him a little bit later in like the depths or even in the womb. Seems like Larry Jr. makes an appearance every video or so. Uh, and he's actually ended a couple of my videos a little bit later on. Never in the basement, thankfully. Full health, more HP up. That's pretty good. Um, I want to use my key on the item room. But more than that, I want to get another key so that I can also open the shop. It would be a goddamn shame if I wasn't able to uh, open the shop in this video as well, considering how much money I have on my person. So I'll be shooting all of this fire, ah, and walking into some of it as well, uh, in order to try to find that key. Or a key, I guess it's not, it's not a special key. There we go. Let's keep moving this way. There's the item room, so I'll be using a key on that. Oh, why did I walk into that? And why am I about to walk into it again? Oh, luckily his range is... He doesn't have a range upgrade, so... I can actually get out of that situation, okay. Grandfather Fly goes down in one, and hey, there's a key. And a lot more hearts are sitting around. So I will be able to actually get full health before going down. So we got the bean. Uh, the bean allows us to do... Well, essentially the bean allows us to fart, but we all knew that. Uh, so uh, it'll cause me to do a poison gas attack. Which is pretty useful, I suppose, although... I'd prefer not to be so close to enemies that it becomes an issue that I have to use it. Ah, and there's an arcade as well. So we'll definitely check out that arcade. Get some more money. And what do I want to do here? Let's... Just blow this guy up. We'll use this a couple of times. Uh, the magnet is causing the heart to come closer. Uh, and I think I will use it two more times because there's a lot more health scattered around. And now I have 30 cents. Um, let's get out of here. I'm going to save my bombs, not even blow up the slot machine. So with 30 cents, I can get full health from all of these hearts that are back here. I might, there might even be more than 30 cents, honestly, available. But better safe than sorry. Um, let's make sure I get this other heart in here, too. Just in case, these, these other hearts in here. Yeah, perfect. And then we'll go to the shop, and I could potentially buy two items. Oh, well, I will get the half off sale for Steam, absolutely. Uh, so that means 50% off everything else I buy in the game. Might as well buy this bomb. Why not? And I could go back to the arcade and blow all that shit up, but I'm not too worried about that. Even though there is a chest I left unopened here. You know, it's the big things in Isaac, not the little things. I uh, can't even get to that chest yet because I don't have a key, but if I do get a key, I will likely check that out. Provided I've already opened the shop and the item room. So, took a little bit of needless damage there, but again, feeling pretty confident about my, my ability to get through the caves part one. If I fail uh, my let's play here, that would be a pretty substantial blow considering the track record that I have in the past few videos. Again, I'm, go I'm going for broke here. I want to make sure that I get all four characters having beaten the game in four consecutive tries. Okay, another cent. Can't complain about that. I didn't even try to find a secret room in the last level, did I? That was dumb. But again, this is the kind of oversights you can afford to make and still beat the game. Clearly. Let's take out these double flies first. They're honestly more annoying than that other enemy, uh, the, the turrets there. Particularly these ones I can shoot while they're down. Another bomb. Another lot of bombs. I don't even have to use a bomb to get to them. So I've got ten bombs now. That's substantial considering we're only on the third stage. Ah, there's pride. Not much of a problem. Maybe I can poison him? Yeah. Oh, that actually worked really well. Can't believe I got hit by that. Hopefully he'll drop some hearts. Ah, tarot card. And the bean recharges every room. Did not know that. So there's the fool that takes us back to the spawn room. Not that useful. Ah, the bean recharges every room. Every room? That's, that's not so bad. I uh, don't have a key, so I can't get into that shop. 
Uh, I could give some money to that little boy sitting there, and I might indeed end up doing that, but I want to do some more exploring first. Definitely got to find a key. Let's go fart bomb one of these guys. Wow. Pretty useful. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say it's pretty useful, but it's nice uh, to be able to do at least poison damage to one enemy. Again, with no keys, I'm at a significant loss here as to what to do. Uh, I could lose a shit ton of items, or potential items in this room, without the ability to access all of these rooms. So let's go try to find the secret room. And if that doesn't work, I'll end up giving some money to this kid and hoping that the kid gives me uh, some keys. What's in here? Alright, more money. That's something. In fact, there's an awful lot of money there, which is pretty good. But, it's not gonna help me that much. I need, I need keys! There's a bomb here. Thank god I've got so many bombs. Let's give this kid some money, see if he gives us some good stuff. Another bomb. Not what I needed, kid. Let's just keep paying him off. Alright, tarot card. Wheel of Fortune, that's going to produce a slot machine. That could actually be really useful in trying to get some keys. Let's just keep giving him some more money, though. Maybe he'll pay off with a really good item. Ah! Hey, thanks a lot, man. And even, even more money. Another tarot card. Death. Alright, that's a good one. And if I could just hit the guy. One more. Fantastic. More. Okay, well, let's keep it up. Maybe he'll drop another key. Or some hearts. That would be useful, too. Oh, shit. Now he's getting greedy. Another tarot card. The world. This shows me the secret room. Well, it shows me everything, really. Okay, the ladder. Fantastic. That was worth it, because I probably would have ended up going to the shop and buying that anyway. So I don't need the fool. I, I could use the world. Let's use Wheel of Fortune right here. Uh, and I'm just going to use it, and then explode it. Gives me a heart and a bomb. Yeah, that's kind of useful. Now I could use death on the boss. Uh, but I also, like, I want to hold on to the world. Whatever, I'm not going to walk all the way back here. It's fine, it, this is a good problem to have. Death is going to do a number on this boss, most likely. And we'll see whatever item we get in here is... Hopefully a skeleton key or something. PhD, better pills. Haven't seen a lot of pills uh, in this run, or... Well, actually, we did see some in the last run. Particularly speed down. But, you can't complain about a passive upgrade like that. So here we got Pestilence. Death uh, worked pretty well against Pestilence. Makes sense, considering Death is actually one of the horsemen of the apocalypse here that's actually more, uh, more advanced. Obviously, in the hierarchy, death would be higher. Didn't do that much damage, but it did something at least. Okay, we gotta watch out for these. I'm really not doing as much damage. Ah, oh, come on! That was bad. Not doing as much damage to pestilence as I would like. What I would like to do is uh, kill all these silkworms fast, so I can get close to pestilence and then hit it with this poison attack. If poison even affects it, but it might not. With silkworms done. Up. Oh, I said silkworms done. Let's bomb him here. I think, yeah, that did hit him. Excellent. And now his head is gone. So this surprisingly poor run against Pestilence should be over relatively soon. Uh, usually don't mean to take so much damage when you're fighting a guy so simple. But you know, Pestilence can be kind of a problem sometimes. Um, particularly depending on the upgrades that you've gotten. I'm not doing a particularly high amount of damage right now. Here's my cube of meat. I'm gonna get back to full health. See if the devil wants to make some good deals. Uh, Necro- oh man, I will definitely trade one heart for the luck foot to get better upgrades and drops. That is fine by me. I could end up regretting that decision, but you know, go big or go home. So like, normally I would have to blow up the TNT to get out to the, all these items. But, because I have the magnet, they just come to me instantly. It saves me a little bit of time. Although I do have the ladder, so uh, you know. I'm not spoil- or I'm spoiled for choice right now. Uh, these guys. Could make this kind of difficult for me. But I think I'm gonna be okay. As long as I. The trick, obviously, on these guys is to try to get one of them in your grasp at all times. Or only attack one of them at once. I tried to be smart there by using the beam to attack one, but that actually caused me to take some damage I wouldn't have otherwise taken. Yeah, hey, but there's a chest there. With some more money and a couple bomb. Well, a single bomb in it. Beans recharge. Let's use that. That should kill the human fly guy there. Yeah, it took a little while, but it finally got the job done. Another arcade. Hopefully this champion human popcorn drops some sort of health item. 
Or something even better. That would be good too. Ah, bomb. That's okay. Two bombs. All right, I could really use some keys. Let's see what's going on in here. Yeah, you know what? I'll play this game a couple times. See if maybe I can get a good upgrade from this guy. I always, of course, take from the same area. I'm not sure if it makes a difference. Oh, pretty fly. I want it. Yes! Oh, no, fly love. Sorry, so this means flies won't attack me anymore. Let's use the blood bank once. Blow it up. For half a heart. All right, that's fine. And we might as well just blow up the slot machine right away. Hopefully some keys drop. Another bomb. Well, I got a ton of bombs, um, but what I really want is a key. It's, isn't it ironic? Maybe this is the secret room? Yes! Wow, good luck. I was already out the other side of the door thinking there's no way. Oh, there's three cents. That's not so good, but I guess for the price of a bomb, particularly with the steam sale, that's pretty much normal. So, got some pretty good items right here. Not overpowered, but I'm strong. And that's, that's something to be said for that. Oh, I can't believe I took damage. These guys are so horrendous just because of the way um, they move around so much when you hit them. So you're able to damage yourself oftentimes. Larry Jr., don't do LJ, man, don't do it! I think that poison might be enough to actually take out that one Larry Jr. Well, one segment of the Larry Jr., I suppose. Uh, that TNT was well placed. Let's go after this Larry Jr. up here. Try not to take any damage because I am actually getting a little bit low on health. And I've really got to get to these item rooms so that I can use the luck foot. Otherwise, I'm, I'm up shit creek, basically. I, I could just... Ah! Well, there, there goes what I was going to say. I suppose I can just stand here and attack Larry Jr. where he's not able to hit me. But I think I, I bunged it up. Some hearts, please. More bombs. Not exactly what I wanted, but uh, that's okay. So, down here. Good enough. Drop some keys, please. A cent is not a key. Not even nearly enough to buy a key. Here's the boss. Oh, ah, good. Got Larry Jr. there. Gotta be a little bit careful, honestly. Um, I could find myself in a pretty shitty situation if I'm not careful. Having half a heart, even on bosses that are that are relatively easy, you don't want to be stuck there with half a heart. Uh, uh, okay, good. Now with one Larry Jr., things should be a little bit easier. A little bit easier. I'm not letting Larry end another Let's Play. That should be my slogan when I run for president of Canada. Um, here it comes. Up. Oh, a little bit more on this guy. He's going to take a little bit more. And I pray to God this treasure chest is just, like, rich with hearts and keys. Both of these treasure chests, I mean. Well, there's the heart part. No keys, though. Uh, you know, let's fight the boss right away. I think I'm gonna be fine. Peep. We'll poison it. It's good. Always. I guess it's always good to get that uh, poison it. Whoa! Always good to get that poison attack off as fast as possible. Just because there's usually a little bit of a lead period where the boss actually won't attack you. So they're doing their kind of intro animation, like, "Hey, what's up?" Um, let's watch out for this. Sometimes Peep is a little bit unpredictable because whenever she does that attack where whenever she, he, I don't know. Whenever it does that attack where it shoots out the urine in all directions, uh, the directions are kind of random, I feel. Like, it's not like they always come out uh, in the compass rose directions or anything like that. It seems to rotate or be random. So Peep must be scared. Not as scared of it as I am. Not as scared of... It's not as scared of me as, of me as I am of it. Wow, that's a tough sentence. I know what the kids are getting for homework tomorrow. Okay, just fire away at Peep, and it's going to die in the next round. Ah, but took some damage. That's cool, though. Got an HP up, which makes up for the health that I spent to get this luck foot. Too bad I don't have any keys, so I can't get any of the fucking items to make use of my luck foot. Uh, really could use two keys, really. Both the shop and the, uh, the shop and the uh, item room would be fantastic for me right now. Or even a, a pill that gives me bombs or keys. Or even any pill at all because I also have the PhD upgrade. Really, please, just a single key. Or the ability to buy a key. Or even tease me with the ability to buy a key. The opportunity to have the ability to buy a key. 
would be enough for me. That would, I, I could sleep at night if I got that. But right now, I'm in a situation where I got no hope. I spent this hard on the luck foot, and I'm not getting any uh, opportunity to prove myself lucky. It's like being the world's luckiest man, but not being old enough to go into a casino. Uh, this could be a tricky room. Let's go in and fart on him. Success! And that is not the only time I've ever said that in my entire life. Well, no keys to be found here, so unfortunately both the item room and the shop are going to go unpillaged. We're just going to go down directly to the next level. Hopefully that doesn't end up biting me in the ass. I mean, my, my Isaac fundamentals are undeniably better. Like, I'm a better player. But it's still nice to have good items in order to be able to go, like, accomplish your objectives more easily. So let's go down here. We're in the depths one. Only one more level till I fight Mom. There's got to be a key in here, right? Compass. Definitely worth it. I will take that trade a hundred times out of a hundred. Let's fart on this fetus. It's illegal in 49 states. It's a goddamn Obama. But... Hey, you can't appear directly on top of me, buddy. That's against the Geneva Convention. If I could just sh actually shoot this one. Come on! There we go. One more hit. Uh, and then some jumpers. Hoppers, I should say. Not leapers. Thank the Lord. What else we got here? Zombie guys! Oh, that's a tough draw. It's a really tough draw. Do the same thing I always do, just focus on one of them. And then lose track of who that is. And completely switch your focus. Ah! God damn, this guy is the one I was following before, I think. Maybe not. This is a tough, tough room right here. Uh, do I have this one? The, uh, God, they got me hemmed in! This room better drop some hearts. I've, I've taken four, two hearts worth of damage in here. Four hits. There we go, okay. One cent. What should I expect? Oh, I guess the, I guess the game does get harder the more you play it. I definitely got a fart on those guys. I'm gonna have to label this video somewhat flatulent oriented. This game is slowing down a little bit because of all these flies on the screen. Gotta render four enemies here. Let's take up 90% of my processing power. One more hit on both of these guys now, I think. Well, there's that guy down. Oh, three more hits on this guy. A single key! What have I done to appease the gods? Oh, fuck. Actual leapers. So I farted on one. That better kill that one. It didn't kill him? It's unbelievable. It's leaper room. Oh, fuck me. One more one more leaper. And I can get the hell out of here. Come on, leaper. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's open this chest. Hearts. Hearts galore. A single heart. Well, it's something. I got a fart on this guy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, sorry about that. Ah, success. I gotta say, I am enjoying farting on people every room. Something the game, I thought the game was missing was the ability to uh, flatulate in the face of your enemy. It was really the best way to let him know that you've you know, got him completely conquered. I'm gonna come over here. Well, let's fart on this guy. Gotta use that fart every room, otherwise I'm just wasting my potential. It's things you will never hear anyone say in real life. I got one key, so I'm kind of trying to make my way to the item room. Looks like the item and the boss are both, like, really distant, though. Really far away. And it sucks dick only having one key this late in the game. Uh, so, I, I, like, I have all this money, but I can't even go to the shop. Oh, thanks a lot. Maybe if I bitch some more, they'll give me uh, exactly what I want. Ah, oh, fuck me. Goddamn. Leapers. Not to mention, the four corners of the room are all shooting at me at once. Got saved by my cube of meat there. Cool, play it cool. Play it cool, buddy. There's one more. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, only one more left. And I only have half a heart worth of health. Okay. Almost lost it there. Gotta be careful. Gotta be extraordinarily careful. That's why I'm being especially quiet right now. If you couldn't guess. Shoot diagonally. There we go. Ah, quick dash on this guy. Some diagonal shooting. 
We'll do the trick here. Four shots each, I think. Five. Oh, that was close. Five shots each. That's that's absurd. Especially when I can't seem to hit them, even when they're they're standing still. Oh man. Okay. Well, give me the bomb. Maybe this is the secret room here, and it's packed full of hearts or slot machines. Oh fuck. Well, yet another room where anything could happen. Okay. Human popcorn. Decent draw. I'm not saying I'm gonna survive this room, but this is a room that, uh, you know, I would prefer to almost any other room in existence. Particularly when they're all trapped in like this, I can get through them pretty easily. But still, I mean, like, it's harrowing, man. I really need some hearts to drop. I've had terrible luck with drops. How did you get out of your poop prison? Come on, buddy. Come on, it's okay. I'm gonna euthanize you now. Key. Okay, now I'm doing fine for keys now, guys. Give me some hearts. Okay, again, possibility for it to be ended here. Let's make sure we're staying good on our fundamentals. Staying on. Drop a heart. Drop a heart. Drop a fucking heart. Okay, I can survive one hit in this room. Oh, well, that's all right. And then in here, what do we have in the item room? Something fantastic, please. Yum heart. Okay. I think this is going to be more useful than the bean, considering how close I was to defeat there. You know, basically for those last three rooms, I was like, it's going to be one of these rooms. One of these rooms is going to kill me. Uh, but now that I have that yum heart, I feel like I can do okay. I'm feeling up again. Basically, like, I'm like a combination of Isaac Kane and Maggie right now. Uh, I've got the yum heart like Maggie, I've got the luck foot like Kane, and I don't know, I am Isaac, so that explains where he comes in. If you're wondering why I'm abandoning all these rooms over here, it's because I'm trying to get to the shop, actually. I have 20 bombs! Holy Christ! Let's use one of these over here to find the secret room. No such luck. Lots of, uh, lots of possible places for the secret room to be here. Make my way over to the shop, hopefully buy another item. In particular, I say this a lot, but a battery it would be fantastic right now. Uh, the ability to charge a yum heart, essentially, give me close to hearts on demand. Uh, uh, I got lucky there. And a spiritual heart, okay. <laughs> Look at the difference. I had half a heart, like, two rooms ago. Now I can take, how long, I have two and a half, plus one, so I have three and a half. I can take seven hits now, whereas a minute ago I could only take one. Or I couldn't even take one, one would have killed me. Bet you guys were thinking that was the end, weren't you? Or maybe you were looking at the time left in the video and you're like, well, obviously, how does he survive this? Or maybe you're looking at the time in the video right now and there's only like two minutes left and you're like, wow, poor retard doesn't even know he's going to die. So we will buy these pills. I've got the PhD, so let's use them. Speed up. That's something. Buy this key. And Book of Revelations? Which, what's better, the Book of Revelations or the Yum Heart? I suppose the Book of Revelations is better. One, I can use it right away. But also, uh, you can use it even when your health is full. So I think that's the, that's the best decision to go with here. Now, I cleared out that entire room. Uh, let's go check out the, the potential secret rooms. Could it be here? I gotta be somewhat thorough here, because I don't have the best drops. No, it cannot be here. Um, there's, a, there's one more place I'll check. It's right next to the boss room. Other than that, we'll just kind of go with it. We'll just fight the boss. I feel a lot better about fighting this boss than I did uh, two rooms ago, that's for goddamn sure. Uh, I don't want to go down here. Could have used my ladder to walk over that gap. Use the bomb here, hopefully. Yep, excellent. Uh, here we got the unicorn horn, uh, which I will use right now, but I will come back for that book of revelations. Just because the unicorn horn is really useful on the boss. Gives you a period of invincibility and a period where you do a lot of damage. Let's see who we're fighting. Fighting war. Use the unicorn horn right away. You can see every time I touch him, I'm doing a pretty absurd amount of damage. Got him down to about halfway already. Oh, but I've taken two hits of damage already. Um, luckily, I got that speed up. This guy is pretty darn fast. But I think overall, pretty soon I'm going to have my brother Bobby by getting that second cue of meat. Can you please curl up into a ball? Thank you. There we go. Try not to accidentally walk down. Cube of meat. A little bit of extra health. Let's go get our Book of Revelations back. It's gonna cost me another bomb, but it's worth it. Okay, 
this, and then move on to the next level, the Depths Part 2. Hopefully, there will be a battery on this level, because that will allow me to, like, supercharge my Book of Revelations. But even if not, I feel, oh, I feel pretty good about my ability to beat Mom. So the real question is, where do I want to go first? Because I could rush straight to the boss, but I'm going to go this way. Because remember, after you defeat Mom, this is a mistake I've made a lot. Uh, after you defeat Mom, you cannot leave uh, her boss room. So I really want to make sure that I do visit the shop. So uh, I will go there first of all, even before I go to the arcade. And even before I open that chest, if I do choose to open that chest. So we got Fistula here. Don't expect this to be too, too bad. But I've been surprised before. Uh, super way to take damage. Book of Revelations is charging so slow right now. It takes six rooms for me to get one spirit heart. It means I can only get hit once every three rooms. That's actually not that bad. Uh-oh. Okay, well, see, this is what I mean in Isaac. Sometimes you get trapped in a room where you just have no choice. Like, uh, I was gonna get hit there. There's no way for me to get out of it, minus having, like, a teleport. But, honestly, when the game's unfair like that, I kind of like it. Uh, it seems like it's definitely random. It's the way this would really work in real life if you were trapped inside of your mom's basement slash vagina. So, one more room and we'll be able to get to the shop. Hopefully gonna get a battery. It is one of the most common items to find for sale in the shop. And I forgot that I had the steam sale item as well, so pretty much I should just buy everything that's available to me in the shop to make best use of that. Let's see what we got here. More pills, more speed up. I might as well take that. Ah, uh, greed! <laughs> That's another catchphrase in this Let's Play, obviously. Ah, greed! Greed's gonna drop a shit ton of money. Unfortunately, I'm never gonna be able to use it. Yeah, I took it. more damage than I would have liked to have taken there. I'm never gonna be able to use it because there are no shops. But, oh, I guess I could use it at the arcade. It's my strategy for spending money in real life, too. So let's go back here and get those hearts that I abandoned. And then we'll go to the arcade and see what's up there. Might as well play the slots for a while. See if I get anything good. See what we got going on here. Okay, I'm, I don't really care about winning a cent. I, we should just hurry up, really. Whoa! Three cents, okay. Keep playing. Key? Maybe I can get another uh, another good item off this guy. I don't, I, don't, I don't actually know if this guy has any more good items. His heart would be useful. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll save that for the blood bank. This bomb. Don't really need that. Could use some more keys, though. I, I will say that. Another key would be useful because there's that treasure chest I need to get to. Uh, another bomb. The boss room and the item room are so far away. What do we got here? Uh, choosing wrong pretty often here. Alright, the key. I really want this one. Let's check this slot. <laughs> this guy's going to explode soon, probably. If he does have any, any more items he can give me. Hey, more hearts I can't really use, but I'll save those for after I use the blood bank. Another bomb. Yep, oh, come on. Oh, that one came at me fast. Although I guess these flies don't even actually hurt me because of the fact that I have this thing on my head. Wow, I'm going to get a lot of money from the blood bank. And I, you know, I could pretty much spend like the next five minutes of this video inside this arcade based on what i got going on here. Yep, oh, two bombs. Okay, it could be useful for fighting bosses. I really want that key, though. Two keys! Thank you, oh lord. And more money. I should probably spend my money on the slot machine instead of on this guy because I don't think this guy has any items, like special items, beyond the fly love one that he gave me. But I could get some pretty flies from the slot machine. This guy's giving me a lot of money to go to the blood bank with, though. Alright, so let's go to the blood bank a couple of times. It's gonna pay out pretty huge. The hearts, notice, only attract to you if you need them. Saving me some walking time, I suppose. I don't want that full heart. Now I want the full heart. Okay. And one more hit. Cool. Got a lot more money. Let's go. Whoop. I guess we're playing this game one more time. Oh, fantastic. Got a nickel out of it. Okay. Now let's go play the slots for a while. And I guess what I'm hoping for here, keys and pretty flies. Ah, spirit heart. Fantastic as well. Not going to complain about that. Especially since my Book of Revelations hasn't finished recharging yet. Some bombs. Okay. I'll use those to eventually blow up everyone in this arcade. Getting really lucky financially here. Too bad I've never had... Oh. Oh. Another speed up. 
It's not even that useful. What can I get from you? I think we're, we're probably basically done with the arcade now. I could sit here and farm loot for like hours, but oh well. Do one more set for the blood bank. May, who knows, maybe I'll be able to use this money on a slot machine later in the game. But for now, let's get going. I think we pussyfooted around long enough. Uh, I got enough resources to probably get to this chest. Let's see what we got here. Tarot card, the magician. That gives us homing tears for a room. Uh, I finally remember what that does. Let's use that. Ah! Let's use that right away. Uh, there goes my spirit heart that I love so much. Come on, come on. There we go. Another key. Book of Revelations is ready. And, oh, this is a tough room. In fact, this is a very tough room, but luckily those other guys are trapped. Ah! Although not as trapped as I would like. Let's take out this guy first. And then, just hammer away at this guy from range. Why did I walk directly into his bullet? Uh, well, okay, get out of here. And just wail on this guy, again, from out of his range. Hopefully I get something good from the item room in here. Uh, but that's still some distance away. I will unlock this. More keys, more bombs, and a little bit more money. Tricky room, but again, I can just kind of hang out on this uh, ladder, I think, and I'll be able to avoid pretty much any problem. But it's going to take me a while to kill these guys nonetheless. Piercing shots would be a, a bonus right here. Or poison shots, or slowing shots. Pretty much any kind of special effect shot. Like bullet time. Ah, fuck. Okay, well, at least there's a lot of health left in that last room. And I think in the arcade as well. No, not this much. Could die! Just fucking die! All I want from you is your death. That's the only thing of worth you can provide for me. Get on the ground and cease biological functions. It's kind of felt like Samuel L. Jackson saying that quote. Alright, there we go. You are dead and don't come back. So we got here. Half a heart. Uh, it's something. And two half hearts. Alright, that's something more. Come on. Okay. And this was the wrong way to take if I wanted to go to the boss room. Looks like it. So we'll get back up here and go the upper way. Remember, of course, that we are fighting Mom at the end of this one. A boss who I find, you know, probably harder than Mom's heart. So, okay. Single Larry Jr. is actually a pretty good draw here. Uh, because unlike the, like, double Larry Juniors, this one can only, uh, you know, he's only got one guy. So I know exactly what direction he's coming from at all times. Those guys in the corners are annoying as fuck, though. Let's pick up this bomb. And hopefully there will be a turn to the right here. Yes, there is. So we'll keep these guys down. Another bomb. Try to avoid walking on the spikes with my speed up. There we go. What do we got in this room? Ah, headless guys. I hate these guys. Oh, Jesus! Dudes, you gotta get that checked out! Okay, so there's a... Detach the head. Oh. And kill the bodies. Do the same thing here. Obviously that heart is eager to get here. And I'm eager to receive it. There we go. Another key as well. Can't complain about that. We're coming across, up across the item room. Uh, and Book of Revelations will be charged at the end of this room. Which will allow me to hopefully be in a pretty good situation going into this mom boss fight. But still, I'm a little wary. You know, it's funny. We're actually, uh, at this point, we're about 39 minutes in. It's been longer than two, video or two or three videos ago where I actually beat the game in this amount of time. And we're not even through with mom yet. Book of Revelations was used there in case you missed it. Tough room here uh, with all these gluttonies hanging about. But the good thing about these guys at the very least is that they are predictable. Um, so if you can kind of induce them to attack, you can control them. Remember, I've got good pills. Let's see what this pill does. Health up. Ah, I'm not going to complain about getting an HP upgrade. Um, Mom's pad, I'm not going to get even though I would be able to use it immediately for the boss fight. Simply because... I want to make sure that if I get to the womb, if I do indeed, indeed beat Mom, I want to make sure I have the Book of Revelations, because that'll be really useful to me. Oh! I, I, I walked into that totally by accident. Mom's devilish laugh echoes. 
So I gotta be really careful here because I don't have any items that can do a substantial amount of damage to Mom. Beyond just my basic attacking. And all of these enemies are gonna stack up pretty quickly. Come on. Game's getting a little bit... <laughs> the performance is suffering, let's put it that way. Ah, there we go. Mom killing my enemies for me. The way it should be, right? Keep hammering away. So far, so okay. I'd say so far, so adequate. Ran into that Silkhorn by accident. Can't be having that happen if I'm going to succeed here. And if I defeat Mom, I give myself maybe a half-decent chance to actually defeat the game. Um, this is a tough setup here. There we go. Get out of there. Just spawning too many enemies for me to deal with. And I'm doing so little damage. If only I'd been able to get to those item rooms and shops earlier in the game. Okay, doing pretty well here. Things always look up in the mom boss fight once uh, once those rocks in the middle start disappearing. It becomes much easier to figure out where her foot's going to fall and how to avoid the enemies that are on screen at all times. Oh, I was bound to take damage there. It was just a matter of where it was coming from. This is a nasty setup. Uh, lots of enemies on screen. It's great when mom crushes the enemies herself. But it's not happening as often as I'd like. But I have her down to about oh, half health right now. Maybe a little bit under half. Where's where's that foot coming? Ah! I don't see a foot shadow. Thank God I was moving though. Fuck, every time. There we go. There we go. Do some more damage. Hammer away. Silkworm die. Oh! It's gonna be close! Just keep moving. Get the fuck out of there, pork chop sandwiches! Uh, again, I can't. I can barely see the shadows. Oh, there's one. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, okay. Almost got hit by the fly, but the cube of meat saved me. Keep hammering away. It's possible. It's also possible that I completely bung it up in the in the ninth inning here. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got lucky to not take damage there, but I did take damage there. One foot will kill me. I can't see what's going on. There's too many enemies on the screen. I gotta kill the shit out of these guys first. Oh, man. That was, like, n very nearly my death. Come on, one foot, please. Come down. If you come down, I will... Oh, thank God. So close. All right. Maybe not as stressful for you guys if you could see the amount of time left in the video, but for me, think of me. Let's go down into the wound part one. Um, not feeling too strongly. Um, just be- oh god, just because of the fact that it- Mom was so harrowing, and, and I don't have a lot of things looking in my favor for this, uh, for the womb here. Uh, I'm not doing very much damage. I don't particularly have a lot of life, although if I could get a full health upgrade, uh, I would have an awful lot of life. Everything in here will do one heart of damage, so it's only gonna take three hearts to kill me. Three hits to kill me, I should say. Book of Revelations is nowhere close to recharging. In fact, the only thing that's basically coming up Millhouse right now is the fact that uh, I'm dumb. That I know exactly where everything is. I can see the boss room. In fact, the boss room is the only thing that there is here. Although there is a secret room as well. So I guess the boss room is probably going to be through this. Nope. I picked the wrong door. Monty Hall problem. Okay. Skip. Just keep strafing. Use it. Ah! God, this could be it. Use the rocks as cover. Okay, okay. Two fetuses left. Just murder both of these fetuses, then we can go home for the day. Sounds like I work at Planned Parenthood. Okay, come on, just a single heart would would make my life so much easier right now. Oh, come on! <laughs> Get hit. hit him! Right, no hearts, okay, but if... If I survive the next room, I will get a Book of Revelations upgrade. Oh, okay. Okay, this could be alright. Could be. Just stay strong here. Good. Okay, and there's Book of Revelations. At least that gives me two hits. Oh man, it is a long ass way to the boss. I thought it was going to be really close. Turns out I have to go the, uh, have to go the long way to put it uh, succinctly. I have to go up and under. 
to get inside of my mom's vagina. Ugh. So at least we got Monstro, an enemy I know I can reliably kill without getting hit. Although, you know, anything could happen. It would suck pretty hard to get killed by Monstro in the womb. Oh, he'll die on this shot right here. Uh, gives me a key and nothing else. Could be worse, I suppose. Could have given me uh, my own death. And let's kill this brain before he comes in at me. Good. Gotta watch out for the creep. I'm hemmed in. Creep disappearing. Means I can attack this turret again. Alright, now the brain guy. Good. More keys. Useless. Where were you when I needed you? Three months, three champion monstros is kind of a shitty draw, Isaac. Uh, that is a bad setup for you to be fighting right now. Um, yeah, I suppose it could be worse. It could be three champion monstro twos, but uh, still, this is not great. They are smaller and faster than regular monstros, and they deal twice as much damage, and there are three times as many of them. But there's one dead. Is it possible that I will survive this without getting hit? Oh my god, there's the second one. There's the third one dead! I am a golden god. Keep it up. I got an extra half... <laughs> I got an extra half heart there too. But then... I just got hit instantly. Tarot card, please something good. The Hanged Man. Alright, that's gonna let me fly. Uh, which is pretty useless considering I have the ladder. But, you know, maybe it'll come in handy for something. Oh! Okay. Start by taking out the guts. That's gonna be the easy one, easy thing to do. Okay, now we'll take out the turret. Now we will take out this man right here. If I can figure it out. Yep, yep. There we go. And an extra heart. Okay. Laser room. Pretty tough. But I think I'll come out of it okay. And if I actually do live, I will manage to uh get a uh, revelations. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now one more room against Chubb. And then I will be fighting the boss of this this hellhole. Um and here's hoping the boss of this little level is actually death so that I can uh, get my third meat boy upgrade, which actually maybe give me a chance to defeat some of the harder enemies in the womb too. Like when it comes to the womb too, I'm not that freaked out about fighting the boss cuz mom's hard. I've got fought that boss a hundred times before. But um, I'm freaked out about actually being able to survive in the womb, too. I could potentially beat Mom's heart with only one heart, uh, although I'd prefer to have two or three. You never know when you're going to take stupid, uh, stupid hits. Excellent. One cent. Probably not what I consider a fair trade for that fight, but anyway, let's go in here. And we will be fighting Death, okay. Who I cannot seem to hit, apparently. Death, of course, slows down time and produces these sights. Which, oh, actually fucked my day up there. Slows down time again. And he'll probably do the scythe attack. Yeah, there we go. The scythes can be... Ah, oh, fuck. It's not good. The scythes can be killed. He's doing... Death's doing a bang-up job right now. Too bad the scythes don't drop I oh, <laughs> Too bad the scythes don't drop items. But I guess if they did, shit would be a little bit too easy. Oh, come on, come on, buddy! It really, it, that slowdown is, oh, come on, I was standing right next to it. Ah, uh, well, that was to be expected at this point. Anyway, good job, Death. Good on you, I almost got there. Almost four consecutive runs. Four success, four successive, four consecutive semi-successful runs at the very least. As usual, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time, when I will, apparently, I guess, have to beat the game with Isaac. He's the only character left who I haven't done yet. Anyway, thanks for watching, I will see you later.